Good afternoon. Uh, welcome along to Training Tuesday. Uh, my name is James, uh, and we are going to look this week at what are we going to look at? We're going to look at chunks. We're going to look at link groups and things like that. Um, as ever, it's a live session both on YouTube and Facebook, so uh, do comment along in the chat. Good to see the usual faces there. I'm struggling to read the comments as always. They're, they're very small, but hello, Tommy. Uh, hello, Mario. Uh, Mehmet on Facebook. Who have we got on YouTube? We've got Steve on there. We've got Joe. Uh, welcome along. And for those watching later on, uh, again, uh, if you are watching off um, offline uh, whilst this isn't live at a later date, please do feel free to comment. We do monitor the chat, monitor the chat as well. Um, so yeah, we uh, last week um, we had a good number of the campus crew uh, down at Glastonbury Festival, and it was great to see how things like uh, chunks and link groups were being used by many, many users across the site already. So without further ado, let's jump in and take a look at the software here. So uh, I'm running our 1972 release. It's not being released just yet, but it is coming soon. I promise you. Um, so 1971, uh, for those of you who are aware, is our current. Uh, beta software we are close to releasing a 1972 release uh, our guys in the office are busy doing the final testing on it at the moment uh, and we're hoping to get that released imminently so watch this space but um, what i'm going to talk about now is in our release software so rest assured and um, you will be able to use this already in 1971 uh, so first off i'm lo i'm running our standard show of a demo show which is available in the demos folder with every magic Q download um now i've loaded that show in i'm just going to go to queue storage and you can see it's in setup view settings queue storage i have group queues on um so i've got that to prefer group queues uh hello john carlo in italy as well um so uh, let me just remove a couple of playbacks give myself a little bit of space here so what we've changed in 197 is the ability now to have linked groups so if i grab group four here which is my spots and i locate it uh, on come just nine spots. Well, I uh, clearly when I was messing around in this session, uh, practicing earlier, I took some fixtures out and haven't put them back in. So I'm going to select heads 101 uh, through 112 on my keypad, at at, and I'm going to go ahead and record that into group four here. And you can see it now shows 12 heads in here. When I hit locate, all 12 heads come on. Uh, now, if I hit my odd even button, you can see in my viz it's selected the odds, and the evens are now low lighted, as you can see there. there the reds are the odds. Uh, shown in the visualizer here now if i go on and i record a group like so uh, you can see it's labeled it spots because there were spots inside there uh, and it's even called it spots odd uh, because it knows that i hit odd and it's the odds and it's now got six lights in there so yes it's made an odd group for me uh, but most importantly you can see it now has an l uh, so we have linked groups linked groups work a little bit like a palette can link to a queue but a group can link to a queue so a group can link to a group so you can have groups linking to groups, just like pallets linked to queues sort of thing there. Okay, so it'll make more sense as I come through that uh, later on. Uh, now, if I hit my even button again, you can see now the evens are selected. So I'm going to hit record there, and you can see it now says spots even. Six heads inside there with an L. They're linked. Um, now, something in our 197 release has been out a little while now. We actually released this probably back around January time. Uh, Ah, oh, Frank, uh, sorry, uh, you've joined us here. Don't worry that you're late. Good to have you with us. So, um, as I was saying, um, odds even, hold my odd and even button down. You can see you get your toolbar up the top here, uh, where I can do things like segments, which you can see I can choose my segments, two, three, fours, five, sixes. Uh, so I can go into, say, three segments. Uh, next, next, next. And you can see, okay, when I do segments of three, it's saying that it's in you know, groups of three of my fixtures, okay? Uh, now, this is going to be a little bit different to chunks, which I'll get to in a moment. Uh, now, if you want the custom number, just type a number and hit the N segs there. So I could type eight, click N segs, it'll give me segments of eight. Uh, so if I go to say segments of threes and I record this is a group here, you can see it now says spots S1, segments first one. And if I hit next and I record again, it would be the next segment, segment two. And now I'm going to hold my odd and even button again. And you can see I can do things like uh, pairs. Uh, within that as well so I can have say there you go uh, segments uh, of two but in pairs so you can see I actually got four lights there I can go on and record that as a group there and you can see it's four there segment uh, get all of that stored in that group there uh, now the thing that was new in 197 was what we're calling chunks so if I go into chunks here and I turn pairs off for a moment uh, chunks now basically takes your selection and splits it um, uh, by the number of chunks you've got there so if I go to chunks and I said two uh, but I've got 12 lights in that top group, and if I go in chunks of two, it's going to split them in two halves. So again, a different way of doing segment selection. Uh, if I said go into three chunks, it will take 
the number of lights I've got, got 12 lights and divide them by uh, three, three chunks. And so I've got four in each one of my chunks. And again, if I go record uh, there and I go next head, uh, record uh, there, you can see it's called it C1, chunk one, chunk two, based off that master group. Now, these are all linked back to the master group here. Now, of course, if I'm using things like group Q, so I could say in this Q here, uh, I'm going to locate my odds and I'm going to put them in red and I'm now going to go and set the evens, locate, and I'm going to put them in green. And you can see in my program and group Q, so it's got the two groups there, my odds and my evens. Uh, and I'm just going to open those windows back up again. I'm going to store that as a Q here. And then I'm now going to select my segments one and I'm going to set that, uh, let's click the program first so uh, those go off. I'm going to set segments one and I'm going to set those in red and I'm going to set segments two and I'm going to locate them and I'm going to put them in uh, magenta this time and I'm going to go and select then a different segment selection uh, which was the out. So I'll do that as another queue in a moment. So I'm going to store that here. I'm going to do a different segment selection, clear the programmer first, uh, which was the outer pair. Uh, and I'm going to store that in yellow and I'm going to put that here. And now I'm going to go and select my chunk groups. So remember I had those three chunks and I'm going to locate that and do chunk one as red, chunk two as green. And uh, I didn't do a chunk three group, did I? Uh, never mind, so I've got two chunk, uh, chunk groups here, and I'm going to store that as a queue here. Now, if I clear the programmer, uh, like so, and I run this as a queue stack, there you go, it plays back exactly as I recorded, so based on the groups inside there. Now, these are linked groups. They're linked back to the master group up the top here. So, again, it's a group queue show. It's based on... Um, whatever's in the group is in the queue but i've got groups that are linked to another group so let's say i go to my top level group now and i take out some heads so i'm going to take out now uh, that one that one and that one so i've taken out the first three heads within here so again looking at the moment they're going odd even odd even uh, now if i re-record this this one that's green should now be the first head so it should be an odd so if i re-record this group now so i'm going to say record select there done you can see that queue completely recalculated live i didn't have to clear the programmer rerun the queue or anything it just recalculated live i changed the contents of a top level group and all of my link groups have updated you can see now uh, i've got nine heads so my odds and evens there's five odds uh, four evens and in the chunks all of those numbers have changed they're all linked back here um, and if i run this queue stack back now you can see again uh, this one here was based on uh, Q2, what did I base it on? I based it on segments, didn't I? So segments are two, uh, of, of threes, which is done. And then you know, this one here, Q4, was based on pairs. Well, it's recalculated. Uh, and the third one was based on chunks uh, of threes. Uh, so basically, I've got, now, I've got nine lights now. Split into three chunks, it's going to be three lights on instead of four. Now, if I update that group back again, so at the moment I'm on my chunk queue, if I went, say, 101 uh, through 112, I tap to select them and then I go and put them all back inside the group it's based on the order that you select inside the group done there you go you can see it recalculated now okay I put them all back in again two chunks uh, so three chunks uh, there's only two on at the moment um, but three chunks uh, uh, 12 lights so divided by three four inside uh, each one of those chunk groups here now as you can see there so it completely recalculates it live um, so there you go, that's uh, linked groups and chunks. Uh, final thing to mention is that we actually, we've actually added that now into effects. So if I was to take, say, my top level spot group, which has got 12 lights in it, uh, I'll bring down this fader here. Uh, I'm gonna go add effect and I'm gonna go intensity and I'm just gonna put a standard dimmer chase on it. I'm gonna wind the width down to just say like 25 there or something. Um, let's speed it up a little bit, like so. There you go, so at the moment it's running across the 12 heads it's a group effect based on group four if i change into segments well normally uh, segments you can see it groups together so twos threes etc and of course part splits my uh, effect so two uh, threes etc uh, now something to be uh, to know in our latest software is now with segments if i wind this wheel all the way up and keep going it turns into chunks so i've wound the wheel all the way up and it turns into chunks and now my parts actually becomes the chunk selection so if I split into two chunks, you can see there's my effect split into two there. 
Uh, and if I record that as a queue there, and I'm going to go into three chunks now. One, two, three. There you go. So three chunks. I've taken the 12 lights divided by three, four in each, and record that as a queue there. Uh, and let's just name that. Let's call this uh, chunk effect. And I'm going to go into queue timing. And there you go. You can see playing back as two chunks and three chunks. And yeah, you guessed it. It's a group queue with a group effect. So all I need to do is go to the top level group uh, and actually I could change the heads it's on. I could grab the profiles, and I, which is only eight of them, and I could go and put those inside the spot group now. Done. And you can see here, there we go. So in my chunks of three, uh, well, it's trying to take eight lights and divide that by three as best it can, like so there. Uh, or if I go into the two chunks, there you go, four and four. Um, of course, maybe I want to put the spots back in there again. So I'm going to say 101 through 112 uh, at at uh, and chuck them back into this group here. Done. And you can see the programming is now updated on those. Um, so giving you link groups and chunks are in there. Uh, more dynamic ways of updating uh, not only uh, the contents of your queues, but also with effects using chunks as well. Don't forget group queues. You can do nice things like cloning groups. So, OK, maybe I've got this running on the spots. I also want to have it. Um, on those profiles well yes I could select the spots and the profile head numbers and I could put them all into one big group but don't forget you can do things like cloning groups so uh, as always all the good stuff's under shift if I hold the shift key down I can go clone group uh, I can say okay clone this group my spots uh, clone it to my profiles and I can either then select the queue stack or I can just press enter as it says in the command line here for all queues so I'm going to hit enter to do on all queues yes done and you can see now it has split that in there uh, exactly as so there. Okay. And back to the first one there. Okay. Let's clone that across there. And you can see that running in my viz straight away now. And if I go and look at the queue, view the queue, and view the effect, you can see it is based on now groups three and four. Uh, of course, I can then do things like modifying my group spread. At the moment, the group spread is using all channels. So you can see my. Uh, if I go to the first queue, which was a chunk of two, wasn't it? You can see it's now taking the two groups and it's added them together, which might not necessarily be what I want because I've got 12 and 8. Um, so you can see actually I'm ending up with a kind of a step on uh, because it's taking the total number of fixtures, 12 spots, 8 profiles, adding it together and splitting into two. You can see kind of maybe that's not what I want here. So I can change my group spread and I could actually say the group spread uh, is done uh, within groups only now. There you go, within groups now. Uh, is now looking a little more like I want. Okay, take the two groups and run the effect across each group independently. And of course, if I go to the second uh, uh, queue here, go to the next queue and set the same as well within groups, you can see it will mirror and do the same, even though I've got different numbers of heads there. So there you go. Uh, that's link groups and chunk selection available in our 197 software. As I said at the start, 1972 Watch This Space is coming soon. Uh, you guys have been very quiet in the chat today. Not many questions. So hopefully that all made sense to you. As I say, if you are watching this back at a later date, uh, please do feel free to comment on the chat. Good to have you with us this week. Uh, and we'll be back, as always, same time, Tuesday.